Hello my friends, this is Michael. Today is August the 13th, 2016. Today is a very special day. I'm in San Bernardino, California. I am at the McDonald's Museum in San Bernardino, California. You guys, I will show you everything McDonald's, the whole history of McDonald's. Maybe uh, you, can, you can already feel, yeah, I'm very excited about it. I'm an avid McDonald's fan. I eat McDonald's nearly every day. I love McDonald's. And today, I'm at the McDonald's Museum. And here you can see a wonderful painting on the outside of the museum, all about McDonald's. There it is. Yeah, and here I believe these are the founders of McDonald's, Richard and Maurice McDonald. Wonderful, everything McDonald's. What does it say here? Historic site, McDonald's, San Bernardino. And as you can see, the admission is free. Yeah, Guys, come to San Bernardino, visit this wonderful museum. And here we have the other side of, of the building. Another wonderful painting. Walking along doing my thing. Ah, uh, Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny and McDonald's. Wonderful. And here we have an old Karmann Gear. Yeah, that's a German car. The company doesn't exist anymore since a long time. But that's a Karmann gear. Look it up on Google. Very interesting cars. Well, this one looks interesting too. Very colorful. Ooh, look at it. And here it is in all its glory. Self-serve system hamburgers. 15 cents. I wish. All right, my friends. Let's do it. Let's go in. Let's go into the museum. Again, admission is free. Cameras, welcome. All right, there it is. All right, my friends, now I'm inside here. This young gentleman, what's your name? My name is Marvin Hernandez. Mr. Marvin Hernandez, he is the uh, tour guide here at the historic site of the original McDonald's in San Bernardino, California. Fantastic. So it's really a special treat that we have a private tour here. And uh, now, please tell us. Well, uh, this is our timeline here. This is where we start off most of our visitors. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see here, this is a picture of Richard and Maurice McDonald, the brothers. And they brought their eight-sided building called the Airdrome from Monrovia, California to San Bernardino prior to the war. And originally they were a barbecue restaurant. Mm -hmm and this is their menu here mm -hmm. uh -huh. and later on after the war they started the car hops and this lasted for a little while uh, would you please explain for our now, european people for our european <laughs> visitor for our american visitors it's like sonic for our european visitors they like to they like to use the the analogy of the flintstones for some reason that you sit in your car and the waitress would come and bring you food and she would bring you the food on a special tray that would attach to the door of your car. We have one right down there. Uh -huh. uh, but unfortunately, this idea was not terribly efficient and the brothers decided to remodel one more time with the original building. And in, in 1948, they introduced the Speedy character, their mascot and their mm -hmm. 15 cent burgers and the more streamlined menu. And they also had special items made for their food preparation. They had special that tables works. made, special spatulas, condiment dispensers here. Here's a patent right there. Oh. Uh, these were used for dispensing ketchup and mustard and things like that. Oh. And they were done on a table that we would call a Lazy Susan, a circular table. Mm -hmm. I and heard about Lazy Susan, yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is how it was. Uh, it was during this period though, 
that Ray Kroc uh, would have come here, and this is more or less what he would have and seen. Ray Kroc is? Ray Kroc was the multi-mixer salesman who sold uh, these, these little devices here. Mm -hmm. He came to San Bernardino because the brothers had made a big order. Uh, and he came to personally see why they would need mm -hmm. so many of those machines. Mm -hmm. Most restaurants only needed one. Mm -hmm. And eventually, uh, he would franchise for the brothers. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, in 1961, he would buy the franchise from the brothers oh. uh, for $2.7 million. It must it's, have been a lot of money. At that's that 1961 dollars. That's a lot of money back then. This is about today, $2 billion? Yeah, in the ballpark. <laughs> you could buy an MBA franchise for that okay. kind of money now. But also, they did away with their octagonal aerodrome, uh -huh. and they built what we know as store number one. Okay. So when you look at the whole new McDonald's nowadays, they have that slanted roof, and it's kind of retro. Well, mm -hmm. this is what I say the retro comes from. Uh, the, the building itself was torn down in, 19, in the 1970s, and mm -hmm. all that really survives is the signage and the buildings in the back. Mm -hmm. That was where they had their offices. Okay. And even there, you see the distinctive red and white tiles. So this is in San Bernardino? Yes, this is right uh, here in San Bernardino where we are. Okay. This next, this here is store number four. Okay. Uh, this was, this is still in operation to my knowledge. This mm -hmm. is in Downey, California. Okay. And this is Ray Kroc's uh, franchise. This was store number nine. Okay. It's, and this is in Des Plaines, Illinois. This is their official museum. Mm -hmm. uh, and all along this wall, this is... A lot of, we try to get testimony from a lot of former employees and people who knew the brothers at the time. We try to do it because so many of them either are no longer with us mm -hmm. or many of them don't live in San Bernardino mm -hmm. anymore. But we finish the timeline a little bit further down and you'll see here that there's, in 1961 when Mr. Kroc bought the franchise from the brothers, the brothers kept this location. Mm -hmm. And for copyright reasons, they had to change their name. So they went from this sign with the speedy character and the single arch, mm -hmm. not the golden ones that we know today, and they switched over to the big M. This is a different big M. This is, this is the same location, but they changed the signage. Okay. But most of the locals still knew it as McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And this is how it stayed until sometime in the uh, mid to late 60s when the brothers eventually sold the building to mm -hmm. uh, Neil Baker of Baker's Burgers. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometime after that, uh, the building was eventually uh, abandoned and it was uh, torn down by the city of San Bernardino. Oh. Uh, and... Uh, Sometime a few years later, this building was built, and this mm -hmm. used to be a music store. Okay. And then it became the Civic Light Opera of San Bernardino. And mm -hmm. sometime in the 90s, while during that period, the plaque outside was dedicated. Mm -hmm. And the remaining McDonald brother, Richard, was here for that mm -hmm. dedication. Uh, and uh, But during this period, because Mr. Kroc was not... Uh, satisfied with the fact that he didn't get this location mm -hmm. just for just as i like to say just for fun he built another mcdonald's up the street okay for no other purpose but to <laughs> compete and uh, hopefully yeah, put yeah. the brothers out of business but uh but he we, couldn't but he couldn't no yeah. no but and we fast forward to 1998 and my boss mr okura who's the founder of juan pollo chicken mm -hmm. like i've said he bought this building he He's the one that uh, started this museum, and it just started with pictures on the walls mm -hmm. and a few things that he found and that were found online. But uh, not too long after that, it was the, the, the generosity of the public. They just started coming mm -hmm. in and asking if we wanted things, and that's how the donation started. Mm -hmm. So everything that we have here that you're going to see is donated by the public. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it could mean just a few toys. It mm -hmm. could mean... Uh, cups, it could mean uh, bags, but uh, also, also it could mean an entire collection like you see here. No. This, is also this was an entire co a co collection? Yes, with, with the exception of the hamburger. That's real. Oh. That's been sitting there for a month. Wow. I'm getting hungry. Uh. <laughs> McDonald's ties? Yes. This is for the employees? These are for the employees, uh. yes. The gentleman who had this was a form was uh was i think employed by mcdonald's uh, and he saved a lot of these which is nice to have because a lot of young people don't be this is all before happy meals came along yeah. and mcdonald's would have things like this that you could get at the stores or you could go to a department store and get a ronald type thing mm -hmm. uh they also have uh candy cigarettes which we discourage 
nowadays. I remember having these as a kid. Yeah, me uh, too. I, I was going to a supermarket getting a pack of chocolate cigarettes yeah, and enjoying just, them. Now these were just bad tasting peppermint. Ah. And on this section here are items from other parts of the world that visitors have given us. Uh, sent to us. You can see the placemats up there from from all these different countries. Oh, yeah. All of a lot of this stuff uh, the, the the displays and whatnot are put together by Jack Marcus. Uh, he's our curator and uh, he's, he's the one that puts a lot of these things together. Uh, we'll have things from Italy. On the other side, we have things from Germany. Mm -hmm. Originally, our foreign section was this much. And but over the lot. years, it's grown tremendously. Uh -huh. So this is Thailand, Japan, yes. France, Italy, Spain. Oh, Spain. This is all the new stuff here from China, which they, they've gotten McDonald's in the, in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And these are all things that people have sent us. Uh, sometimes we have returning visitors who will bring us things, like uh, the gentleman from Uruguay. Mm -hmm. He brought, uh, Mario recently brought... Uh, these kinds of uh, Happy Meal type displays. Uh, some of these little coupons are for charity events. And one of the things that McDonald's seems to do in Uruguay is that they make the kitchens available to the public that they can walk through mm -hmm. and look and see how, how a McDonald's okay. functions. Uh, and he and he also brought us some of these plates, but he's, he's kind of a returning visitor. It's a small plate. Yes, yes. We also have a can of condensed borscht. Um, what is Bosch? In my understanding, it's some kind of beet soup type thing Bosch. from Russia. Ah. Uh, and uh, a Russian McDonald's, uh, what do you call it? Metal. Metal. Yeah, my understanding of it is <laughs> that in 2000, when they opened one, uh, this was given as a promotion uh, because uh, apparently Russians like metals. Yes, they do. They're so, crazy for metals, so yes. This was a good promotion for them. Uh, back here, we have a section for what we call the competitor's toys. Now, when people give us things, we don't throw anything away. So when people give us things, they just assume that all of this is McDonald's related. And it's not, so we have to go through some of okay. it. So we had a, a section for them, too, uh, so that the public can see uh, that it's not just uh, McDonald's that makes Happy Meals, but also how the Happy Meal thing uh, was was mo was copied by by the competition, mm -hmm. uh, but also uh, we just like to have a nice place to keep them too. Absolutely, I understand. And we have here it tells you all the different companies and whatnot. Ah. Uh, Wendy's, Gus Jr., yes. Burger King, including Taco Bell, which was a company founded by Glenn Bell, mm -hmm. a San Bernardino native. Uh, so the the name Taco Bell doesn't just mean the bell, but it also bell in the last uh. name. Uh, and these are all our vintage signs, and they're all the real deal. These bullet holes are real. Wow. This is my favorite item out of the entire Somebody got angry? Well, no, when you live in the desert, you yeah. don't have a whole lot to do. But I, I like the fact that we have these things because uh, now, now they're cool to have, now they're yes. collectible and things like that. Uh, another thing is I also like the fact that we have a complete stop sign with, glass, with these glass marbles. You don't see these very often. So is, is these marbles are reflectors? Yes, purely reflectors, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't see them that often, and you see how they went from glass to plastic. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. These are used, I remember, yeah. And this is our stencil here. This is oh. what we use to mark the entrance here. Yes, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have, you'll find a lot of Route 66 associations have this sort of thing. The state, California, I think, has a similar thing mm -hmm. where they mark part yeah. of the old road so people know that where they are, and uh, we try to discourage any kind of wandering off mm -hmm. it's when people like to go through route 66 they have a tendency to wander not a smart thing to do in the desert that's true that, that's a problem yeah. and uh oops i have visitors yeah. and we have our coke machines here coke are very important by danny castro who uh he collects a lot of these things these are all vintage machines why don't you take care of your customers we just finish up here all thank right. you very much no problem well, my friends, as you can see, it is paradise here. It is the uh, McDonald's Museum. So it's here Coca-Cola machines. Yeah, I'm not only loving McDonald's, 
I love Coca-Cola. So when you have at home sitting an old Coca-Cola machine, send it to me. I would love to have it. I'll collect Coca-Cola stuff. Yeah, so it's, yep. Let's have another look around. And uh, I'm flabbergasted. I, I don't know what to say. All right, my friends, we are coming close to the end. Before you leave this museum, please sign in here. This is the uh, sign in or sign out sheet. For me, it's more a sign out sheet. Yeah, so today's date is 0813. My name is Michael. You all know that. Yeah, and my address and so on. So, this is a wonderful place here. You guys should really come by as soon as possible. Uh, it is absolutely free. It just lives off the donations of the public. And I'm not talking about financial donations. I'm talking about the donations, what you see here. All right? Well, there is coming the young gentleman again. I would like to thank you again for, uh, for your help here. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you so, for and uh, well, I will post this little video on YouTube. All righty. Yeah, so, and uh, look out for, uh, for my channel. It is Whoopnik. Whoopnik. W O O P as in Paul. N as in Nancy. I K. Whoopnik. Yeah. Okay. I'm traveling around here in the United States and I'm taking videos of something American. Oh, okay. Typical great. American. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you all for coming and we look forward to seeing as many visitors as we can. Like I said, we're open uh, year round with the exception of a few holidays. And uh, if you can, look out for the McDonald's movie too. Uh, the McDonald's movie? Yes, there is. Uh, they the founder. They used uh, some of our items in their film uh, as props, and they mm -hmm. came here for some of their research. Ah, uh, with, uh, with Michael Keaton? Yes, yes. Yeah, now I see it. And, uh, well, yeah, thank you very much for pointing yeah. that out. I would have never uh, thought about it. And when it wherever possible, uh, visit juanpoyo.com to look out for any kind for to see where if we have a location near you mm -hmm. and it's it's it, that's the business that keeps this museum going <laughs> and we're like i said before if i hadn't we are free to the public so uh everyone is welcome Thank you and very if much. you're here on a weekend check out the inland empire military museum which is next door to us as well they're only open on the weekends though okay well thank you very much mm -hmm. i appreciate it no problem Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends. So here again, there is a movie coming out. Yeah, as you can see it here. Can you go closer? Yeah. It is called The Founder with Michael Keaton. And it's released December 16, 2016. Not even I knew about it. Wow. Well, this museum is really an invaluable source of information. All right. Well, why don't you spin around? So that's it. Please look out for my next video and uh, have a great and wonderful weekend. Thank you very much, friends. See you later. How would I spell that again? It is spelled Wupnik. O O. Uh, no, no. W O O. W O O. P is in Paul. P is in Paul. N is in Nancy. I K. Wupnik. Okay. Dot yep. com. No, it's on. It's a YouTube. Uh, oh, YouTube. YouTube. Uh, it's a YouTube channel. All right. Well, YouTube is also where you'll see the preview. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will check it out. Great. Well, now I'm hungry. I really am. Okay. Very good. Yeah. You have here little materials. This is this cruising is, street. This is for cruising. E. That's a, an event we have in December. Uh huh. And. Hmm, but we don't really sell anything McDonald's related for obvious yeah. reasons. Well, I was actually hoping you have a kitchen magnet. <laughs> uh, this one we already have. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, we that's all we have except for the pins. The pins are for five. No, oh, I take it. I take the pin. Five bucks? Yep. Right. Five bucks for you? All right. Great. Real McDonald's pin here. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Oh, great. Come on in. All right. That's it.